Alright, glory to God. So, in this video, this is going to be a short video, but I just want you to have a good understanding of, of the 10 things you gain and lose when you choose God over the devil. Now, uh, this is good because I made a video that is similar to this one where we speak about the differences between God, Jesus Christ, and the devil. But in this video, I want to further elaborate on the things that you gain and the things that you lose uh, depending on which side you choose. You see, ultimately the choice is yours. God gives you the choice to choose which, which side you want to be on. So, uh, now before we begin, I want you to know that there is difference uh, between the, the teachings of the devil, what he teaches, and, and what he teaches his followers, and what Jesus teaches. You see, Jesus always taught to do good, to do the will of God, to share, to teach people, to help people. And the devil is the complete opposite, to uh, cause problems, to spread uh, discord, to cause uh, just uh, havoc in people's lives, and uh, ruin relationships, and... You know, do everything that is contrary to God because that's what he is. He, he's against God. That's why he's called the Antichrist because he's against God. He's Antichrist. Uh, so Jesus always taught to follow, follow, well, follow God and to do good. The devil, he teaches you, do what you want. Okay? So these are the things that you gain when you become a Christian and you become a follower of Jesus Christ. First thing is you become a child of God. And you see that's a, a privilege to, to be called a child of God because it means that you're no longer a child, you know, of the devil. Okay? And when you're a child of God, that means that you uh, receive the mercy of God and you have, you know, God always abiding abiding in your life. The second thing you become is a royal priesthood. Okay, a royal priesthood, which means that you become someone who is very precious and valuable in God's eyes, just like his child. But priesthood is, is kind of like a position that you gain. Okay, then the third thing is forgiveness of sins. You see, when you accept Jesus Christ, he promised that he will cleanse you uh, uh, of your sins and you will have a new nature. Okay, you will no longer be tainted with the the filth of sin. Now, the blessings. Now, uh, God is a God that gives. I remember I, I spoke about this in my previous videos that God gives. Well, God will uh, give you blessings in your life and, and God will give you good things. So, that's a, a good reason to, to become a Christian, you know, to, to receive blessings from God because everyone wants to be blessed. Who doesn't want to be blessed? All right, now, then there's the love of God. God speaks about this. He says that, you know, if you believe in Him, you will abide in His love. And then the Father will be in you, God will be in you, and, and you will, you know, you will have the love of God, which is a, a great thing to have in your life. And then we have the peace of God. Uh, peace of God, you see, because uh, Jesus, there's a verse that says, you, um, His peace He gives to you. Not the peace of the world, but the peace of God. Because the peace of God is better. It surpasses all understanding. Uh, then we have the kingdom of God, which is what you would call heaven or paradise. You see, you when you accept Jesus Christ, then you will have paradise. Because there's a place that says that it is God's uh, good will. It, is God, and it gives God joy to give you the kingdom. Uh, the Holy Spirit... Probably the most important thing, I should have placed it at the top, I don't know why. But the Holy Spirit is one of the most important things to, to have as a Christian, as a believer, because the Holy Spirit comes with the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit, which is can be used in to develop your character and also to, to uh, be able to help and build up the Church of God and help people uh, around the world. So... The Holy Spirit is a beautiful thing, and last but not least, everlasting life. Well, here I put spiritual life, but it's basically eternal life, okay? So, these are the, 
10, 10 blessings that come with uh, being a Christian and following Jesus Christ. And then we have the, the other side, okay? Yeah, the, the, this is not the, uh, the side that we want to be on, God forbid. Alright, so right, these are the things that you, you lose basically or remain. Because remember, this is the state that we're in already when we don't have God in our life. So you basically just remain everything on this side when you choose to accept the devil. First thing you is, you become a child of the devil. You, you, you remain the child of the devil. And we know that the devil stands for everything that is bad, evil, and wicked. So if you're a child of the devil, then you stand for basically sin, you know? Everything that, that, is, uh, that promotes sin, oh man. So basically evil, se uh, uh, sexual morality, uh, 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 being a thief, a killer, a pedophile, a rapist, all these things. When you accept the devil, that's what you, all the things you stand for. Second thing you remain, you remain a sinner. And, you, and when you remain a sinner, that means that uh, the same, so the same uh, uncleanness that comes with sin, the taint, the, the filth that comes with sin, you basically uh, keep that. And, and with that, you cannot enter heaven with that filth on you. Uh, the second thing is no forgiveness. Just remember, Jesus Christ offers forgiveness of sin because He paid the, the, the price for your sins at the cross. He took up all the sins of the world so that you would no longer have the sin nature. But if you reject Jesus Christ, you get no forgiveness of sins and you don't get that, that benefit. The next thing is you, you become cursed, okay? So your life becomes cursed. Some people can't understand why their lives are getting worse and worse when uh, they reject Jesus. And that's because uh, when you reject Jesus, you lose the blessings and you become a curse, okay? And the curse starts uh, following you in your life because Jesus Christ is the one that gives blessings. God gives blessing to man. And now we have the wrath of God. There's a verse in the scripture that says that uh, uh, those who reject God and Jesus Christ, you know, Emmanuel, you, you abide under the wrath of God. And that's not something that, you, that I wish for anybody or even my life to be under the wrath of God. Okay, another thing that you miss out on, you, 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 you have no peace. You will not have peace in your life when you reject Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is actually called the Prince of Peace. See, God is the Prince of Peace. He's the Prince of Peace. So you reject God, you have no peace and no rest in your life. Uh, then there's separation from God. You see, sin separates you from God. Being a sinner will separate you from God. Ultimately, in the end, after you die, you'll be separated from God and you will end up in a place that is that is not a good place to be in, which is hell. You see, we don't wish that on anybody. Uh, you all have the decision to choose whether you want to be with God and accept God and His His Word, the Bible, or not. Uh, then, uh, here we have the Holy Spirit, but on the other side you get evil spirits. And uh, we, there's a, a scripture that speaks about it, how uh, even in the Old Testament there was a, a king named Saul, uh, when the Spirit of God left him, he started being tormented by evil spirits. And that's not a, a thing that, that you want for your life, to, to have uh, spirits tormenting your mind, your body, or, or any, any part of you, okay? And then there is spiritual death. You see, the, that's what we call the second death, is uh, when you are uh, separated from God, you, you, you die, and then sin, when, since you have no forgiveness of sins, there's no way for you to be cleansed or redeemed of your sin and you die spiritually. And that's what we call the second death. It speaks about that in Revelation. So the, these are things that, that you gain and lose when you accept Jesus and when you don't. It's true that when you accept the devil in this world now, you get all the benefits. You, you, well, you get certain, uh, I would say, benefits or privileges. Like you get... Uh, you know, you, you get uh, wealth, you know, you get uh, fame, popularity. But uh, Jesus says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? See, when you, when you 
gain those things from the devil, you lose your soul in the end. But you see, when you give your life to Jesus, Jesus preserves your soul to the end. With the Holy Spirit, you are sealed. So these are things just to think about. I didn't want to make this video long, but I just hope that uh, uh, this gives clarification of the things that you gain when you accept God and the things that you remain as when you choose to not accept God and follow the devil. So hopefully you choose to follow God for your benefit and for your spiritual life. So may God bless you and I hope that this video helped you.